Back and neck pain can be helped by making stretching part of your daily routine. As we get older, we become less flexible, we become stiffer. These stretches will help. Regular stretching keeps our muscles flexible and increases range of movement in our joints. It improves posture and reduces the risk of injuries. Here's our guide for stretching for flexibility. There are two kinds of stretches, static stretches and dynamic stretches. Dynamic stretches are usually performed before exercise. They're controlled movements, such as a walking lunge or a leg swing, that prepare your muscles and ligaments for movement by warming up. By contrast, static stretches involve moving a muscle into a certain position and holding it for around 30 seconds. When doing a static stretch, the muscle should feel tight but not painful. Static stretching can really help to reduce pain and stiffness. We're often stiffer in the morning and our muscles become more flexible later in the day. So this is a good time to stretch. Here are some tips to make sure you're stretching safely and effectively. Muscles stretch more easily when they're already warm, which is why stretching for flexibility is encouraged after exercise. If you don't exercise daily, you can still incorporate stretching into your daily routine, for instance, after a brisk walk. Be mindful of pain. You should stretch to the point of mild tension, but no more. If you feel a sharp pain, then stop straight away. Start slowly, ease into a stretch, and then stretch gently, because this lets the brain know that you're not going to get hurt. Use smooth and slow movements throughout your stretching. No bouncing or jerking. Maintaining good form and posture will ensure you get the most out of your stretching. Breathing is crucial because it can relieve stress and tension throughout the body. Here are our recommended stretches. Firstly, calf stretches on a step. Next, butterfly stretches for the inner thigh and hips. This is a quadriceps stretch for the front of your thigh. Careful not to pull too hard on your foot, otherwise you can hurt your knee. Here's a stretch for the back of the shoulder and the rotator cuff muscles. This exercise is great for the glutes and the buttock muscles and the back. This is a simple neck stretch which really helps the muscles at the back and front of the neck. This cat stretch for neck and back is our favourite because it gets all the spinal joints moving. If in spite of trying these stretches you're still getting aches and pains then do give us a call and come and see Tech, our physio, if you're in Brighton and we'll get you sorted out.